All right, so there's going to be a really, really good show coming to Feinstein's at Hotel Carmichael in Carmel uh, very soon, actually, on the 27th. And the man behind the microphone is with me right now, Eric Baker. Good morning. Hey, Matt. How are you? I'm doing great. Uh, it's so great to have you. Because, and I'm really excited about this particular show that you're going to be doing uh, called Southern California in the 70s. Can you just kind of give me a, a quick synopsis of what you're planning on doing at Feinstein's on Saturday night? So we are going to be uh, playing the music of and telling the stories of many of the artists who are from uh, Laurel Canyon, as well as kind of the L.A. area. So one thing that really drew me to this was not only the songs. I mean, these are we're talking iconic songs in terms of the American pop and, and rock songbook. But there are so many really cool stories about artists collaborating, writing together, touring together, in the studio together, some of them even in relationships with one another. And uh, <laughs> yeah. what that does to the, uh, it, it just makes the music more interesting, I think. And we're talking just some of my favorite artists personally. So this is, yeah, this has been a really fun project for me. Oh, my word. Yeah. I, talk about an interesting time in music and an interesting geographical center point, I suppose. Yep. Uh, have you seen that documentary, Echo in the Canyon? I have the Jacob oh, Dylan documentary. Loved it. So Loved good. So if much. you're a yeah. fan of that documentary, this is going to be the show for you, I guess. So yes, what exactly. kind of, I, I mean, so if you're not familiar with that scene from that time, what artists are we talking about? If you watch that documentary, you're familiar. You know that there were things happening in the, starting in about the mid 1960s. Uh, we're going to start this show in about 1970. So we're talking artists like Joni Mitchell and Jackson Brown and Linda Ronstadt and the Eagles and Crosby, Stills and Nash. Uh, many of these artists were were friends and just kind of hanging out and and they'd stay up all night and they'd write two or three songs. You know, there's a, there's a lot of lore around this, but that's that's really intriguing to me. And then we're going to get into some of the bigger bands that were recording in uh, in L.A. around the mid even late seventies. Bands like Toto and Fleetwood Mac and the Doobie Brothers and uh, just some phenomenal songs that everybody knows and can sing along to. Well, you, you mentioned the lore. I mean, the lore, I think, is some of the coolest, uh, like the coolest part of all this. And you're going to be providing context in addition to performing the songs themselves, right? You could say this is kind of a stories and songs format. Uh, so we are going to um, tell some of the stories behind how these songs came to be. And in many cases, they involve multiple artists or even multiple bands collaborating and, you know, the stories of how this song came to be or who wrote that verse or who wrote that verse. You know, there's some just some great stories behind it. And I think personally, I just think it makes the music more interesting because here are songs that we've heard for decades. And oh, my gosh, I never knew that's how that song came to be. Indeed, some of the best Stories of rock and roll came out of Floral right, Canyon right. in the seventies, and uh, I totally agree. Yeah, <laughs> you'll right, get right. you'll get the context, you'll get the music, you'll get a great performer and Eric Baker, and it all happens on Saturday night at Feinstein's and Hotel Carmichael in Carmel. Eric, thank you so much. This is really exciting. What a great show you got planned. Thank you, Matt. Yeah, I'm really excited about it, and I think I think people are going to enjoy it.